Doyle is a very sick man. He needs looking after. I am looking after him. We're all looking after him. Doyle, how are things here for you? It seems that I've, I've lost my marbles, but other than that, I'm fighting fit. An 11-year-old girl is at the centre of our next film, Lou, the second feature from writer-director Belinda Chaco. She's perhaps best known as a writer most recently for television's Barracuda and Secret City. Lou depicts a debt-ridden single mother, played by Emily Barclay, who's struggling to raise her three daughters after her husband has abandoned them. The eldest of the girls is Lou, played by newcomer Lily Bell Tindley. She's in that liminal zone between childhood and adolescence, and she's not happy, especially when her grandfather Doyle, played by John Hurt, comes to live with them. But Lou and Doyle quickly strike up a special friendship. Doyle has Alzheimer's disease and floats in and out of the illusion that Lou is his former wife, Annie. And Lou goes along with it because she's looking for a father figure and an escape from the beautiful but boring rural backwater where she lives. I, I, I have... Uh, I have... I have everything you need. This sensitive and intimate story flirts with the danger zone in its almost romantic relationship between grandfather and granddaughter, but it never truly crosses into disturbing territory. It's more whimsical than that. Which is not to call it sentimental because it's quite a clear-eyed portrait of a family in crisis. Emily Barclay is wonderful as the 27-year-old mother who's had kids far too young and she's still trying to work herself out. In the lead, Tindley is a captivating young actress, and of course John Hurt is excellent as the charming rascal with a fragile grip on reality. It's also worth mentioning the look of this film. It's set in rural New South Wales and filmed in Mwilumba, with the picturesque cane fields growing and burning in the background. Director of photography Hugh Miller captures the golden light beautifully, and it's complemented by an evocative instrumental score from Glenn Richards who also composed scores for Summer Coda and The Black Balloon. This is a, be a beautiful film to look at and it's also very sweet, it's sort of very low key. I think there's, by all accounts, John Hertz's portrayal of somebody with Alzheimer's disease is very respectful and sincere and accurate. Mm. And yet at times the film does walk this very strange line of his relationship with Lou perhaps being inappropriate. There's a lot of unspoken communication and ideas in this film. It's never made explicit that her mother had children really, really young, but there's enough hints and you can kind of do the maths to figure out that she was very much underage when she had her first child. And, and so the relationship between her and her elder's daughter is almost something more like siblings and mother-daughter. You know, a bit of Gilmore Girls type situation going on here. Yeah, well, I think she says she's 27. Yeah. So And Lou's, what, 11. So, yeah, there's that... Um, she just wants to have fun, so she's mm. kind of having boyfriends home, but she's also trying to, you know, discipline the children. And I think a lot of people would find something really interesting in that. Yeah, all the performances are sympathetic and sincere, and it's really well acted, from veterans like John Hurt to, to all the, the younger actors who are very much newcomers. Produced by the respected and prolific Matchbox Pictures, who also made Tony Ayer's Home Song Stories, Lou is a gentle and sweet coming-of-age story. You might have missed it when it released in 2010 and here's your chance to catch it again. Mm -hmm. 